Um, and then also here is uh, another front hall closet compartmented. Here's what we thought might be, you know, her office or just kind of a get together for a computer or a message center place right here that we had a great light um, and more storage here, but a little getaway too. I can see a little stool here and somebody kind of taking notes. And this is my favorite. And this is what we don't see enough because we don't have the space is a big walk-in pantry. And, and we call this now the Costco closet. <laughs> the, uh... Paper towels, everything. So it's there and you can see it. You don't have to hunt behind cabinets and drawers and all the above. And it seems like every Saturday morning the entire North Shore is, is at Costco. Costco. Is it right. Costco? I agree. I agree. And then here is a back hall mudroom, all of the above. Uh, and yeah, because the owner has left it closed. You could open it up and use more cubbies here, and then there's a little place to sit down and take off your boots and. Beautiful cabinetry and, and, and buildings, that. even in the mudroom. Right. It, it, there isn't a detail that's missed. And again, here is the family powder room back here. And a little more of a uh, clean look to it. The windows and the moldings are beautiful. What's also, what's also striking to me is how the uh, insets, uh, the inlays on the, on the doors mirror the uh, Right, arches. and the hardware too. Yeah, that's your, you've got a good eye. And then here is the family room. And I think uh, the, the, the thought was here is that if there was going to be a pool, this is where you would probably put the pool. And again, great light, great windows. Right. And also accessible. I mean, you're, you're looking at an incredible piece of property, but yet it's easy to get to. If you'll notice the kitchen, the family room, I mean, it's really a great, opportunity to get outdoors. One thing that strikes me is that uh, the older architects in this home, I think was built in the mid twenties, really had an eye to maximizing the site. They really and, did. And the home yeah. is very much laid out on a north-south axis to really take advantage of the western light and the, and the sunlight that's going to flood this home. And when this first came on the market, I think all of us had, again, great admiration for the architect and uh, his design. And again, uh, it's proven All right. itself. Now it's about that basketball court. All right. Tell, tell me it's, about it's, this. Part. Well, first of all, it's a five-car garage, and it has this floor garden. And I don't know if you've ever been um, involved with it, but it's, it's just fabulous, because you can literally stand here and take a hose and clean the whole thing down. Um, it's a great preventive. This was an original door, and the owner wanted to just keep it for the integrity sake of everything okay. here. But you could get a sports car in here. Here's also more um, storage up here. But here's what I think is just fabulous. And this is the basketball court with the lighting. You'll see uh -huh. also the heat. So I mean, it is just also there's music out here. I mean, sure. to me, this is just sort of incredible. So we have, what, 16, 18 foot ceiling? And right, and this was added on, of course, but it, it sure makes uh, the winter evenings a lot more palatable with this going on. Whenever we have a huge showing, maybe with a young family or something, Julie will show the parents around and I come out here with the kids. So it's, it's a, uh, I think it's just terrific. So, uh, Even if you weren't to use this space as a basketball court, you could easily stuff it on the well, car. Well, also, the other thing I thought about was so many of these young pair of hockey players. This would be a great idea for a hockey. Sure. Thing. Yeah, you could make it for hockey. Yeah, but, but that's really the problem is the floor, the floor being as uh, unsmooth as it is. It's even not, not it's even like a floor hockey puck is going to be kind of rough. It's hard to do it. Yeah. But you, yeah, you could do it, I suppose, if you maybe you took a little bit of the surface off of right. this that you could you smooth could. it out and make it a little better for floor hockey. But yeah, as is, you could easily just drop a puck and play around if yeah. you weren't too serious. Mm -hmm. Or a okay. tennis ball. The age of these homes, you, I, I haven't seen very many four-car garages I in the area. No.